guys for watching this amazing video. And today we are reacting to American foods that are banned in other countries. Let's see what we, what American foods will be banned in another country. Make sure that you're curious. By the way, I'm recording for the two, three hours. I'm exhausted, by the way. And it, thankfully, it's only like 9 o'clock, 9 p.m., so it's not, like, too late, but it's not, like, super early, too. But And I have to work tomorrow morning, so I have to be, well, technically, I was supposed to be at work right now, but technically, they asked me if I can switch the, to this morning instead of tonight. So I'm like, okay, sure, why not? I have to do a 10 hour day tomorrow anyway, so we all try it. Now, let's see. American foods that are banned in other countries. Here we go. I can keep down Arby's. I can keep down you. Keep down Welcome Arby's. to Watch Mojo. Yeah. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 American foods that are banned in other countries. I mean, this is a very, very good brownie. I'm going to fight for it. For this list, we're looking at food and drinks that originated in the United States that certain countries won't allow. Could you not live without any of these foods? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Arby's Baked Goods. What? This fast food chain is famous for their... First of all, I work here? Arby's Baked Goods? Why? Wow. Roast beef. But that's not all they have. You say Arby's, you say pasta, you say Arby's, you say colorful. Stop by for Arby's breakfast and you can have sourdough breakfast. Okay. <laughs> They say stop by for breakfast, but my Arby's don't have breakfast. Um, not Arby, not all of them have breakfast. So, just think about that, okay? Not all of them have breakfast. Some of them do, but not all of them. Sandwiches, French toast sticks, and croissants. I wish we had well, breakfast. Well, not if you live in Europe. Arby's uses azodicarbonamide, an ingredient used for whitening bread, which Europe has outlawed. There are indications that this chemical, used by many other fast food chains as well, could trigger asthma attacks, and there have been calls for it to be banned in the U.S. Arby's might have the meats, but in Europe, there are some things they don't have. I'm so hungry I can eat at Arby's! Oh my gosh! Number 9. Stovetop Stuffing Making Thanksgiving dinner on a tight budget and short notice? Stovetop stuffing can seem like a lifesaver. Your mom is making stovetop instead of potatoes? However, you might be changing your tune when you learn what exactly is in this mix. Oh my. It contains BHA and sure. BHT, two yeah. chemicals that may cause yeah. cancer, as well as issues with blood clotting. <laughs> and those aren't the only two potential <laughs> health issues. A single serving of stovetop stuffing reportedly contains nearly 30% of a a person's daily sodium intake. Japan, the United Kingdom, and various other European countries have banned this product. Don't ask for seconds of this stuffing, or even firsts. Uh, I don't think I can move. You're full? I'm full. Number eight, Betty Crocker Fudge Brownie Mix. Betty, your brownies drive me crazy. Brownie mix makes it easy to whip up a crowd-pleasing dessert in yeah. no time. But you might not be so pleased to learn what's in Betty Crocker Fudge Brownie Mix. It contains partially hydrogenated soybean oil and cottonseed oil, both of which are kinds of trans fats, though the latter status is an area of some dispute. Do you think you deserve the brandy? <laughs> Well, a shot at it, at least, huh? While the Food and Drug Administration banned the inclusion of artificial trans fats in new food products in 2018, some pre-existing products still contain them. These trans fats mean that the mix is banned in Austria, Hungary, Iceland, Norway, Switzerland, and Denmark, among other countries. Wow. Who knew satisfying yeah. a sweet tooth could come at such a cost? Sweet, sweet <laughs> Who knew satisfying a sweet tooth could come at such a cost? For real. Number seven, Ritz crackers. What? When you think of unhealthy snacks, Ritz crackers probably aren't at the top of your list. No. Ritz cheese not. crispers, where the crispiness of Ritz meets the bold taste of cheese. They're so light, it's easy to eat a whole sleeve of them without feeling stuffed. 
However, these popular crackers also include partially hydrogenated cottonseed oil, meaning they're banned in the same countries as the Betty Crocker brownie mix. Hopefully, Nabisco can one day update the Ritz crackers formula to maintain the same great taste without using this supposedly troublesome ingredient. Off-brand Ritz cracker, salt pile, nothing in a blanket. Looking to avoid inflammation and keep your cholesterol in check? Then you're better off putting off the Ritz for now. Where fashion sits. Number six, Pop-Tarts. What? Pop-Tarts make for a quick and tasty breakfast, but yeah. they decidedly aren't the healthiest option. I mean, I know she's not the Kellogg's Pop-Tarts. Who wouldn't pull that nice, warm, gooey, real fruit filling? These toaster pastries contain yellow five, yellow six, and red 40, three food dyes that have been banned completely in Austria and Norway. Elsewhere in the European Union, foods containing these additives are banned in food meant for infants. When not banned, products containing them often must include a label, warning about their potential negative effects on children. Don't worry, I gave them a Pop-Tart. The healthy kind, strawberry frosted. Bart, that Pop-Tart wasn't locally farmed or sourced? These dyes have also been potentially linked to cancer. We know breakfast is important, but a healthy breakfast is even more important. Number five, Frosted Flakes, Honey Bunches of Oats, and Rice Krispies. If you're moving to Europe from America, shopping for breakfast foods might give you a bit of a culture shock. Where's my toast, you idiots? Three of the most popular cereal brands, Frosted Flakes, Honey Bunches of Oats, and Rice Krispies, are banned by Japan and the European Union. Why? They contain BHT, a preservative that some fear is cancer-causing. Frosted Flakes okay? <laughs> Although there's no definitive proof of the dangers of BHT, cereal manufacturer General Mills has taken it out of their cereals. Do you hear that? Really it's not too tough. And crackle? Kellogg, who produces Frosted Flakes and Rice Krispies, says they have no immediate plans to remove BHT from their cereals. But if the public demands it, they may decide to snap, crackle, and stop. No more Rice Krispies! We are out of Rice Krispies! <laughs> Number four, okay. Wheat Thins. Another popular what? cracker that's banned in parts abroad, Wheat Thins might seem healthy based on their name, but their ingredient makeup is a little dicey. What's it go with? Cheese? Yes. Hummus? Sure. A discarded strip of truck tire? It can handle it. Like Ritz, Wheat Thins are manufactured by Nabisco. And like stovetop stuffing in the aforementioned cereals, they contain BHT, meaning you can't find them in Japan or in certain parts of Europe. How will he bite Wheat Thins? How? Despite their name suggesting otherwise, Wheat Thins are a particularly calorie-dense snack. And they're also high in sodium. Can I have some Wheat Thins? What? Can I have some Wheat Thins? They're Wheat Thins. That's what I said, Wheat Thins. They might satisfy <laughs> a short-term craving, but in the long run, you may want to monitor how big of a role Wheat Thins play in your diet. Number three, farm-raised salmon. Eating salmon can provide numerous nutrients, such as protein, vitamin B, and mm. potassium. It may also help to prevent heart disease. However, you might want to opt for wild-caught salmon rather than farm-raised. Why is there wild salmon, not farm-raised salmon, but wild salmon on the menu, but no red meat? In order for farm-raised salmon to achieve its reddish look, they're fed artificial astaxanthin. This might make the fish look appealing, but the chemicals involved are no for being dangerous, including possibly causing vision damage. You don't like it? Is something wrong with the salmon? Uh, need the gorchitsa. Gorchitsa. What? Uh, uh, Therefore, farm-raised salmon is outlawed in Australia and New Zealand. Not sure if the salmon you're purchasing is farm-raised. If the label says Atlantic salmon, it's probably from a farm. I don't recommend the salmon. <laughs> I saw it in the kitchen. <laughs> Number two, dairy with synthetic hormones. Open your fridge and you're likely to find all kinds of dairy products, from milk to yogurt to cheese. 
These dairy products frequently contain RBST or RBGH, synthetic hormones that are allowed by the FDA, but banned in Europe, Canada, and Japan. Given to cows, these hormones are tied to colon, prostate, and breast cancer. Milk was a bad choice. And if you're concerned about animal rights, they're also linked to infertility and infected udders in cows. Have you been fighting crime, Rob? I don't fight crime. What do you fight? Weak bones. With this information, it's not surprising to see people ditching dairy milk for plant-based varieties. Got milk? Yes, but maybe not certain kinds. Chris, drink your milk. It'll make you big and strong. No! No more milk for him, Lois. He's had enough. Give me that. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Yeah, 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 yeah. Number, number one. one, Skittles. What? Wanna taste the rainbow? Well, not in Austria and Norway. <laughs> That's because Skittles, one of America's most popular candies, is banned for containing the same food food dyes as Pop-Tarts. Of course, we didn't expect those bright colors to be a natural phenomenon. And if this has given you second thoughts about visiting these countries, we have some good news. In 2020, Mars announced they will remove artificial dyes from their human food products like Skittles and M&Ms. However, this isn't an immediate change, as it will reportedly take roughly five years for this transition to take place. Hopefully, the Skittles will be just as sweet and delicious as before. Oh, and by the way, Little Debbie Swiss Rolls and Gatorade also contain problematic dyes. Just saying. What's the one with the swirling chocolate in the commercial? Really? They all have swirling chocolate in the commercial. <laughs> Not Skittles. Do you agree with our picks? Check out the... Kind of shocking. Very shocking. Well, guys, if the... That would be it for the video. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to be awesome and like as well. And don't forget to share. And let us get to 700 subscribers. We're literally like 80 away. Less than 80 away. So it's just quite weird. And like, uh, how type thing. But let's, I guess this would be all. Goodbye.